The wahoo's warming up. Are you warmed up? <laughs> Did you near? There we are. Good girl. Follow the BC Epic 1000 going west. Nice campsite. Water just off in the distance. Nice little creek and it was warm, baby. That's nice. We don't get that much in Alberta. All that glacial fed water. So that was nice here in BC. Just snowpack. Had time to warm up, I guess. Are you ready for another day? Good girl. <laughs> yeah. You lay down? Let me clip this on so I can cushion the landing for you, okay? And we're on the uh, uh, BC Epic 1000 route right now, which I think shares Great Divide at this point. We're just uh, south of uh, Fernie on the east side of the Elk River, headed west, and uh, we're in no rush. Just a, a shakeout ride before we head south and do a lap of this planet. You know, this is really an amazing country that we live in, Mira. Hey, baby. <laughs> so much to do, like, like I've been riding for a few days, I've left Canmore, I've come to Fernie, and the landscape has changed dramatically. The, the valleys are steeper and sharper. The trees go right to the top, and the, and the forests are just so dense and lush. That's beautiful. just reading the uh, Mount Broadwood donated to the Nature Conservancy of Canada by Shell Canada back in 92 to commemorate the 125th anniversary of Confederation. Over 22,000 acre conservation area including important grasslands, forest, wetland habitats and a variety of plants and animals. The beast down. Yeah, this is the other nice thing about bikepacking. You have to go to places like this. So, habitat protection area with uh, motor vehicle restrictions. So, that probably means uh, not many. No, or none. So, the gate's closed there. Oh, Mira, look at this. Do you want a little brush? Let's give you a little brush here. Yeah. Oh, does that feel good? Yeah, good girl, make you even more pretty. Oh, you like this brush. So if you're dog packing past there, there's a brush there you can use. What a lovely day, what a lovely day. Oh, does that feel good? Yeah. B 
Beaver Lodge right there and here's the pond just above the river that whole rim you can just see right there is the beaver dam there's a couple of beaver ponds here I was hoping to see a beaver but I don't see any activity right now perfectly clear calm water lovely you can see the reflection of the peaks Let's go ride down the trail some more. It's hard to ride this trail. There's so much nice stuff to see. Okay, let's put this on. There we are, okay. Let's go ride. Okay, baby, oh, good girl. That's a good girl, Mira. We're into the heat of the day now. And Definitely appreciate every piece of shade we find. So we're gonna take lunch in a little bit. Ideally, we can get close to the Wigwam River, cool off a little bit. Here we can get water, some shade, that'll be great. But uh, before that happens, we have this hill to climb. Bit of a grind. No motorized vehicles. Non-motorized vehicles, welcome. Oh, yeah. This is why you need a range of gears. Whew. The cool thing about going up high are the views. <laughs> Looking down on the Wigwam River. It's, it's so cool. Oh my God. 11% getting steeper. Oh yeah, 13, 14, 15, got any more? You're gonna get 16, 17, oh, 20, 21. Steady at 21, going up 22, three, 25%. I think that's enough. We're gonna push the rest of them. <laughs> Ooh, not bad with a loaded dock packing bike. Oh yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Oh. Hey, baby. What are you doing? <laughs> it's hot, isn't it? Well, why don't we go get some more water? And then we'll ride down to Kukanusa Lake. And we'll see if we can find a camping spot this afternoon in the shade by a creek or a river. Does that sound nice? You look a little sleepy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a good girl. Dusty trails. Hi, baby. Oh. Yeah. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know it's hot out, isn't it? Out of the way, cow. Coming through. <laughs> Oh, take it easy, buddy. Take it easy. No more cows. No more cows. Just the one. Don't two cows. Turn the view there, sunshine. Let's have you cool off. 
Oh, good girl, Mira. Good girl. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do that too. This is what, your fifth or sixth time in the water today? <laughs> Come on. Oh. <laughs> Man, it's been hot here for weeks in BC and Alberta. Up. And so today, just to keep Mira cool and myself cool, every time we uh, come across a stream or a creek, opportunity to go in there and dunk ourselves, we take it. It helped out, eh? Feel better? Nice and cool? Yeah, baby. <laughs> I know, you're probably a big suck. Hey, it's okay, buddy. We're not here for this. No, no. See ya. Hey, hang in there. Good job. He's just doing his job, baby. Kind of half expected him to just be popping out of the fence line. <laughs> He's a big teddy bear. I hope. <laughs> this is how you lead a dog to water and make them drink. Go get it. Oh, that was a surprise. Taking some water there, baby. Go get it. Come on. Go get it. No? Right. Come on. Where's the stick? Go get the stick. You silly guy. is loaded with the BC Epic on there and you got sticks you're happy ready to go bikes packed campsite looks cleaned up and leave anything behind that's a really nice view isn't it Kukanusa right? Lake that was beautiful yeah. all right sweetheart Let's go to Cranbrook. <laughs> 